Hey everybody, and welcome back to I Do Everyday Automation, where we talk about automation projects to make home smarter and life easier. I know some people are waiting for the Bluetooth air vent speaker video, and that's still coming. I'm just working out some of the kinks and some of the effects for the video to get it the way I like it. So stay tuned for that. It should be up in the next couple of weeks or so. But on today's video, I wanted to discuss something that was brought up in the comments section of the unit and you bell video. So there's two things that have been updates since that video. One, I started playing around with the LTS Connect app in place of the Unit and Ubell companion app. And I've seen much better success with that as a standalone app. So that's what I'm gonna be advising going forward that you use if you have one of the variations of this LTS camera. Number two, I wanted to show you guys how to get two-way audio working as I played around with the app, the Blue Iris app a little bit and the camera just to see what settings would work right. And I think I got something that's pretty solid and has worked for me successfully. All right, so at this point, if you have the unit and doorbell or one of the other models that I provided in a previous video hooked up and you're using their app and you don't have two-way audio in Blue Iris, here's what you do to get that set up. So you're gonna right click on the camera and you're gonna go to camera properties. And we're gonna change a couple of the settings under video. This is gonna be just like in the previous video when we actually set up the camera for IP setup. You're gonna go ahead and click on configure. And here's where you're gonna make the changes. Everything else for the most part, the IP address, the username and password, and the ports are all the same unless your camera is slightly different. So what you're gonna wanna do is click on the make and we're gonna change that to HIK vision. And for the model, you're gonna select DS-2CDXXXXRTSP. And then you're gonna to wanna to set the video path back to whatever your original video path was. So that's why it's important to establish a connection as a generic camera first, and then go back and make these changes. And this works with just about any camera that does have two-way audio and also is detected as a generic camera. Okay, and from here, you're just gonna hit okay. Hit okay again. And that's it. Now we're gonna go ahead and test it out. Okay, so one major change from the last video is that now I'm using the LTS Connect app instead of the Unit and Ubell companion app. I find that it has fewer errors and it just works. It's probably because it's going through LTS and they have a little bit more experience with cameras and Wi-Fi cameras than I would say Unit and does. So I've noticed that it's a little bit more reliable, a little bit more stable, and I've been telling people on the channel and on social media if they purchase one of the variants of this LTS camera that it's probably the better way to go. Since I believe the camera is made by LTS and they're just sub-licensing it out to other people, of course they're gonna have the better support and updates for the camera as they come along. So if you're using the standalone app, I would advise using that one over some of the other ones. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump into the Blue Hours app. I have my other cameras disabled, of course, for security purposes. So we'll go ahead and we'll jump into the doorbell camera. Okay, I'm turn the audio off. And let's do a test to see if we can hear audio on the other end. Test. Testing. 
Testing. Testing. Testing. All right, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Hopefully you guys liked it and learned something. If you did, make sure you give us a thumbs up and subscribe so you see more content like this as it's produced. To follow up that, I'm planning a series or maybe a single video on home networking and security. More so what I use and why I use it. This topic came up while I was on my day-to-day -day job. People had a few questions about VPNs and firewalls and what do I use and why do I use it on a day-to-day -day basis. Also, I've noticed a lot more articles and stories coming out about people's cameras getting hacked or their phones getting hacked and how you guys can prevent this from happening, at least on your end. Now, you still have to deal with the subscriber and the provider, and we'll talk about that as well, but more so what you can do to be more proactive at home to prevent a lot of the issues that people see on a day-to-day -day basis with cybersecurity. So if you guys wanna see that, make sure you give me a comment below if you have any additional questions that you may want me to cover during the video. But again, this is more so informal. It's not really supposed to be educational. It's just more so my thoughts and what I've seen work successfully both in the corporate and in my personal home. So again, if you guys have any questions on that, make sure you post them down below so I can see them as I'm making the video. Other than that, I hope you guys have a good one and I'll see you on the next one. Thanks.